Hey, welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about the hip hinge versus the knee hinge and a few really simple exercises you can do to give yourself a sense of how to do a good hip hinge, uh, which may not sound all that exciting, but if you ever deadlift as part of your off ice training, you need to know how to do a proper hip hinge. Plus, it's gonna, I'm going to show you how it'll help you get in a more powerful skating position on the ice. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. I specialize in off-ice training of hockey players, helping you live your dreams on the ice by giving you the proper training off the ice. Let me show you what I got today. So if we talk about a hip hinge versus a knee hinge, or if we talk about the difference between a squat and a deadlift. So a squat, uh, again, it initiates with the hips with a little um, shoot back of the hips. So what I mean by that is that you should see my hips move back before you see my knees move forward. So if, if you're squatting in the gym or you're a strength and conditioning coach or a trainer who's helping someone squat, if you see their knees come forward and then their hips come back, uh, their sequencing isn't quite right. So the first thing you want to see is that unlocking of the hips as they move back and then obviously your knees have to bend. When you do a deadlift, it's even more hip hinge. So a squat will be initiated by the hips and then coming down, um, you know, getting a little more flexion in the knees. A, a deadlift is a lot more just here. So less bend of the knee, a more perpendicular shin angle, and then a deadlift up. So what, that's where we talk about the hip hinge. Really simple exercise. I think I first saw this, Charlie Weingroff demonstrated it, so that's who I'm going to give credit to. Sorry if it was someone else, but I'm pretty sure he's the first guy I saw talk about it. So I'm standing just about eight inches out from this wall. And what I'm going to do to get the feel of my hip hinge is think about reaching forward with my fingers as I try to reach back with my rear end. So I'm not just falling back and then shoving off. I am bending my knees as I reach back, but I'm sitting back in my hips to get there. So then I can step a little bit forward. And again, I'm reaching forward with my hands as I sit back with my hips to get, and I'm balanced, I'm just tapping. I don't have to do a little ooch to get off the wall. So then I keep moving out a little bit and the hands reaching kind of does help me balance. But you can see here where I'd be in a position to pick up a barbell or a hex bar or trap bar and do a nice deadlift pattern. So that's one of the exercises we use just to teach a hip hinge. And then um, the progression actually that we got from, from Charlie was, you know, then to come into that position, grab a kettlebell with both hands and do nice kettlebell deadlifts to help reinforce that pattern. I'm gonna cross over now and share a little technique that I think will help you with your on ice skating position um, that I learned from Dr. Stu McGill, not as it relates to hockey, but just as a good you know, way to get in an athletic position. And he talks about sort of the, um, like the shortstop position. So, you know, if you kind of slide your hands down to the tops of your knees, your butt goes back, you know, your knees will come a little bit forward, you'll have a positive shin angle, but that's sort of a good way to kind of find your athletic position. And I really like that um, because I think, you know, if you think about being in that position on the ice, so my shoulders are above my knees, my hips are back, you can see where that's a very stable position, but also a great position to exert power when you're getting a nice, you know, full stride as you go. A hip hinge on the ice, you know, here, well, that doesn't really help you because now your quads aren't really loaded. You've done a great job of loading your glutes, but your quads aren't really loaded and you're a little bit more forward than you should be. You're gonna have to really extend through your neck and your thoracic spine to see what's going on. Whereas if I'm just coming here, into my shortstop position. Now this is a very nice position for skating, for seeing what's going on and for being stable for both giving hits and 
absorbing hit. So hopefully now you have a better appreciation of the hip hinge versus the knee hinge, kind of the difference between a deadlift and a squat, and how you can use a combination of the two to get in a more powerful skating position. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it or share it or whatever makes you happy. Once again, this is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. My mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't have the natural ability or the genetic gifts of your competitors. Cheers.